Hi, I'm Dan Hughes, Sales Manager for ClickSend Europe. In this video, we're going to look at the feature of Mail Merge, one of ClickSend's newest features. So first things first, I need to bring up my letter to make sure it's set up correctly. You can see here I've got my placeholders map, so address line one, two, city, postcode, country. First name of the individual, in this case, an account number, which is bespoke data, so that's going to be custom field one. Outstanding invoice amount is custom field two, and the account manager's name is custom field three. Once my letter is created, I just need to make sure my contacts are set up appropriately. So in this case, I've got B Marley and P Sherman, each with their own account numbers, each with their own invoice amounts, and each with their own account manager's name. From here, I click on post on the left-hand side and then click on letters, to start a brand new letter campaign. I'm gonna call this one invoices due, invoices due, and begin. It asks you where the letter's coming from. So as you saw, it was a Word document, but we also work with Google and PDFs as well. So I'm gonna start by personalizing my Word document, find my file and open this one up. ClickSend's now scanning it to find where those placeholders are. I click on next and it's detected things like the address line one. So I'm just gonna go through and map these quickly. Great, and as you can see, I've now mapped all of that data. So all of the address lines, the first name of the individual and those custom strings that I pointed out earlier. From here, I click on next. Who's it going to? Which recipient list? This is going to my invoices recipient list. So click on search for that. It says there's two people in there, which is perfect. Click on next. And where's the letter going to be sent back to if it fails? So it's going to come back to me. Save and continue. From here, we're going to give, create a preview of the document for you so that you can make sure that the placeholders map as they should. Great stuff. So you can see here, I'm previewing the first letter of two generated letters. So it's got my person's address. Dear P was the first name. The account numbers come through. The outstanding invoice amount has come through and the account manager's name has come through. I can then select my normal parameters such as black and white, single or double sided, if it's priority mailing, and whether or not I want to schedule it to send now or send it in a bit. Click on next. And then that's ready to send. Click on confirm and both those letters will be sent personalized using Mailmerge. ClickSend is business communications solved.